I'm Ryan Friedlinghaus, CEO of the world famous West Coast Customs. What started as a $5,000 loan from my grandfather became this. The most creative and innovative custom car shop on the planet. This is my world. And this is how it's done. From rendering to reality, you'll see it all inside West Coast Customs. So I'm here on the East Coast in Maryland. I got invited down here from Discovery Channel to go over a build that they want me to do to help somebody out. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Hey, Ryan. Hey, yeah. good to see you. Welcome to the world of Discovery. Thank you. I was just sure. checking out some of this cool stuff. Our kinetic sculpture, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but it wouldn't be Discovery Communications without a 45-foot T-Rex. I know, I Stan. love that. I love that. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Yeah, this no, is, thank uh, you for inviting me. Family was rocked. September 1st last year, we had a, a hostage crisis. Right. Literally, a guy came into this lobby here, had five bombs strapped to his, wow. his body, and took a couple of our colleagues hostage. Fortunately, there was no uh, injuries. No one was, was hurt or killed. And so we were very, very thankful for that. And that's why we called you here. Right. There's our chief executive, Mr. Hey. David Sasson. Hi, David. Ryan, how are you? Good to finally meet you. Yeah, great to see you, buddy. This is Thank an you awesome for coming. office. You know, I see all my favorite channels up here. Yeah, there's all of our channels. Here in the U.S., we have about 13 of them. And I was watching your show on that, yeah, on my... that TV right there. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> You're the man. Well, as you know, we had a, uh, a real tragedy here right. at Discovery. And one day we got a phone call, and there was someone in our lobby, mm -hmm. uh, a terrorist. And there were a lot of people in harm's way. And Isidro, who has a, a hot dog cart outside. And before the police arrived, he was stopping people from coming in because he knew what was going on. Cabrera noticed unusual activity after James Lee walked inside. I saw the gun. You saw the gun. So Cabrera jumped into action, warning employees returning from lunch to stay out. I think he's a hero. He probably saved a ton of lives. Wow. Um, so he went from our favorite guy to have lunch with right. to a real lifesaver. Yeah. And so that's where you come in, buddy. Okay. You're on special assignment. All right. I like special assignments. We need you to build the ultimate hot dog cart for Isidro. He's our hero, and we want to make him feel special. We want to make him feel that what he did for us really yeah. is something that we'll never forget. And I'll do it. I got some ideas. I'll get some more. I'll go down there. Maybe I'll have a hot dog with him, get some ideas, take him back to the shop. He's and a I'll great guy. It. You'll love the food but we want to see something really special. Okay. I You're the man. It. I love it. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> Take, Take care, buddy. Thanks. All right. Great Thanks to see you. Take care. It's a big moment for us at Discovery Communications to try and give back to Isidro. And the guy to do it is Ryan. There's nobody better. It's a special assignment, because I don't think he's ever done an ultimate hot dog cart, but he looked like he was going to have a ton of fun with it. I'm excited, and uh, I just can't wait to see Isidro's face when we present it to him. He's going to be really excited. So I just did my little recon mission where I went over there, ordered a hot dog, ate a hot dog, checked out what he had. So I'm gonna get back to the shop, figure out where to find a cart and get it going. For us, we don't build hot dog carts. So I'm thinking, you know what? We just did something with Farmer John recently. They're the king of the hot dogs. Let's go get some ideas from them, see if they have any pointers they can throw to me and we'll start building this thing. So the CEO of Discovery called me and was like, look, I want to give back to this guy. You know, he's a great guy. He helped us out a lot. We want to build him an ult the ultimate hot dog cart. So I wanted to come to you guys and just really get some ideas of what I should do, really. Tell you what, why don't we go outside and take a look at the truck, get some good ideas. I forgot how good it looked. Yeah. This is definitely not the part that I know about. That's my world over there. This is your world. These are the three components you'll definitely need in your hot dog cart. First, you'll definitely need a grill. You'll also need a steamer for the buns. And most importantly, you'll need a sink for sanitation. You gotta make sure everything's clean. Let's cook up some grills and show you how it's done. Let's do that. Since hot dogs are already fully cooked, uh -huh. all we're really doing is, is warming them up. And it's important that 
you get the grill mark. So you see that beautiful grill mark right there? You want to make sure that's fully around. And that's the best taste in hot dogs. Mm -mm -mm. So I think I got enough ideas of what I need to do. Do you have any kind of relationships with anybody that have hot dog carts? Yeah, definitely. We've got a few. I'll make some calls and hook you up. Okay, cool. Does it have everything we need? The steamer? Uh, steam trays. And then hot water for soup, coffee, uh, hot and cold water. Is it registered so it's safe to sell out of? Yeah. We have all that? Yeah. All right, so pull it in the shop. I'm going to go sit with Jeff, come up with some ideas, get going on this. All right. Cool? All right, Jeff, so I got a kind of a surprise for you, right? <laughs> this build oh is going to be the biggest and baddest and awesomest build we've ever done. I'm scared. What is this? It's a hot dog cart. A hot dog cart. What do you say? This? this is it. Uh. So this one, you're going to have to take creative to the next level. One day is a pink Bentley, the next day, hot dog cart. Yeah, <laughs> right? So I want to add some stuff to it. I mean, uh, okay. I want to definitely come up with a wrap for it that'll make it cool. We'll add some speakers to it, do a TV for him back here so when he's not busy or whatever, he has a TV, DVD, he can watch or whatever. Maybe we do a sign that flips up. And then over there, we'll have a air-powered hot dog cannon that flies Yeah, shoots hot out hot dogs. So people on like the third and fourth floor, you shoot them up to their windows. Fire hot dogs up there into no. their offices. No, no, no hot dog shooter. Okay. So Jeff's a mastermind at what he does, coming up with graphics and coming up with some of these renderings. I mean, it's not a car; it's a different rendering than what he's used to doing. But we're going to use some of the same things we do to these cars on this cart. But ultimately, I know Jeff will pull off something really cool, and the guys will be able to build it. What's up, man? <laughs> Come on in. Can we get this? Uh... Hot diggity dog. Uh, so far, so good. Looking good. I'm all like blocked it. out, starting to add stuff, you know, like outdoor speakers, monitor, grill on the back. That's cool. I'm gonna put like cycle fenders on it, you know, yeah, like something better cycle than that square. Style fender. <laughs> I, I made like a door that flips up and acts like an awning. Obviously, we'll have to have like some, uh, you know, supports or struts. Yeah. I'll, have, I'll have to add those in there, but. So, what if we add like a fridge to, the, to it somewhere? Like a countertop display one? Like one of these. Yeah, we can measure and see if we can fit one of those in there, I guess. But it looks good. I mean, it's exactly what we're thinking. Yeah. So, OK, cool. So we could tidy this thing up and uh, print it out. And let's go get this thing started. Here at West Coast Customs, we're used to dealing with cars, not carts. So to help these guys out, we're going to start with an old hot dog cart and customize it from there. To start this cart off, we're going to wrap it in red with the West Coast Customs Oggy Doggy pattern to make this cart stand out from the crowd. Low profile wheels and handmade custom fenders will make this the sweetest ride in town. Two outdoor TVs will be added, one for the customer and one for our hot dog hero. We'll also include a wicked all weather sound system with an Xbox for the slow times. Because this is the ultimate hot dog cart, we're gonna add a classic steamer for the buns as well as a charboiled grill so you can grill them up West Coast style. Being outside all day, you'll need shade and protection from the elements. So we're gonna put up some awnings all the way around. These will then close and protect the cart on the road. To top it all off, we're gonna use an actuator to raise the new custom 3D sign so everyone will know where to get the best dogs in town. Hey, Ryan. We good? Oh, we're done? Yeah, we're done. Wait till like you see this thing. <laughs> we came up with a little logos. Gucci print. And then it's got the awnings that are going to come up. That's tight. TV and everything. TV, speakers, and then that sign's going to pop up. So let's grab the guys and let's go over this. Moscow, Ferrari, Darren. So you go from Bentleys, the Lambos, the trucks, the cars, the hot dog carts. It's tough, you know, from doing normal cars that we build here all the time to building a hot dog cart is definitely it's a challenge, but I think it's a fun challenge because the guys are used to working on the same stuff all the time, you know. We've been doing some cool, you know, RVs and things like that, but nothing like this. So what are we going to do in here? We're going to do new panels? We're going to wrap all this with okay. a diamond plate looking wrap. All right. I want to redo all the plexi on it, maybe frost his logos in it or something. Yeah, you know, you know just kind of get some better latches, you know, just really clean it up and then yeah. add, add stuff to it. Like these awnings you're going to have to build. Um, these fenders. Are these going to be removable? 
These TVs? Yeah. No. Yeah. But they're going to be covered yes. by the awning. All the equipment is in these. Uh, it works. Everything's yeah, everything's perfect. in here. But check it all. Okay. You know, let's everything go through it. Let's check it all. Let's make it nice for them. Like it's a brand new car, but with our style. This will be fun. This is a lot different than our normal build. So have fun with it. Come up with some cool ideas. Let's make this guy happy. Let's blow him away. How long do we have? Two weeks. Two weeks. So set the clock. Okay. Let's get to work. All right. All right. You know, I've been working in high-end cars, RVs, trucks. Uh, I never have been working in a uh, uh, hack dog car, but I guess it's gonna be a challenge and we have to make something cool out of this. So it's gonna be fun. And I'm gonna start gotta, with the wheels first. Yeah, start with the wheels so we can figure that and out. And then let's figure out this fridge and like where all the electrical components are gonna go. Cause he's gonna need to get a door to access that. Okay. Moscow's gonna lead this project and, and I'm very, very confident. You know, I've put a bunch of stuff in front of him from making grills to building complete cars and now building a hot dog cart. I'm sure he can handle it. So I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed and hopefully we make this deadline. Where you want the awning? Like all the way up here? So it's yeah. cover the whole thing yeah. up to just here or? Just to there because you don't want to do it too far because what if the person's really tall? I'm gonna be in charge of these builds, so I gotta make sure the wheels are gonna fit, the fridge is gonna be in the place that we want it to be. And also I gotta measure every single awning that I gotta put into it. So it's something I've never done before, but I think it's pretty interesting and cool looking. So I'm ready to build it and have fun with it. Coming up on Inside West Coast Customs. Hey guys, doing? welcome to West Coast Customs. I came up with an idea. It's called the Seven Steps to Customize Your Car. That's it. So we're cutting out the sign right now. I got the material all squared up, started the file, and the hydrojet's ripping it out. Rory, here a minute. We have a barbecue in stock that's here, right? Yeah, we have barbecue here. So I got a propane tank here. I got the wheels here. OK. So let's go and get the wheels. Let's get the barbecue, and let's go get the propane. Right. So the good news about this build is we have a lot of the parts here. So the guys are going to run around the shop and try to find some of the stuff that we have left over from some of these other builds. We have some wheels I know outside somewhere. We have some of the barbecues from Charbroiled that we can use for this build also. So for me, this is a really big relationship. Best Buy is the top, top of the retail chain in my eyes, and I feel we're the top, top at our game. I came up with an idea. It's called the seven steps to customize your car. And one of the biggest things in Best Buy is they only have car audio. They don't have any other things for your cars. So I created a way to really give back to our fans where they can go into the local Best Buy and purchase one of my steps to customize their car. Hey guys. Ryan. Hey, how are you? Good to see so you again. Great to see you. So today Tracy's coming from Best Buy. She's the head of their marketing department. She's gonna come here today, see the shop. I'm gonna walk her around. I'm gonna show her some of the products that I have ideas for, and hopefully we can move this move this deal going forward. Here's the, the shop shop. That's great. Oh, this is cool. Uh, wow. This is like where the metal work is yeah. where it starts. I mean, when yeah. we do a build, it really starts in here with fabrication. Oh gosh, the shop is just amazing. When you look at all the cars and you see the the like the quality, the customization in every single car in this shop, like just brings the brand alive. We're gonna bring the West Coast Customs product to Best Buy. And we're gonna start to install and make these cars, these custom cars. Ryan's gonna show us how to do it. We're gonna take it, we're gonna expand it. Our customers love, love customization. So we, we're excited about it. So Darren's new room that Best Buy is building us is basically going to have everything he needs. They turned his ugly diamond plate room that was halfway electronics, halfway metal, halfway storage into a miniature Best Buy store for him. So he can actually go into there, he can use the products that's in there for builds that we're working on, he can use the computers for doing research, and it actually makes the electronics department into a miniature store, which is, which is huge for us. Let's check it out. The good news about having all this here is when we're doing the builds now late at night and Best Buy's closed, you can come in here and grab all the stuff you need and be able to finish the job, which sucks for you because that means you're going to be working really late now, huh? No more, excuses. no more excuses. All right, Darren, hopefully you like your new room. Take care of it. So on this build, we're running out of time and we have a lot of other projects going on. So I'm gonna bring in some extra help. 
so we can get this hot dog cart done. So we're bringing in Ian. He's a friend of uh, Kenny's from a while back. Hopefully he gets along with my guys and can help get this project finished. Ian, got your real shirt, man. Oh, okay, Take thanks. that trash off and put something nice on. All right, thanks. Welcome part of the team for right now. All right, cool, thank you. Alrighty. Yeah, that works. Yeah, thanks. You get gear. <laughs> Hey, what's up, man? What is that? Oh, cool. Wow. This is waterproof, too? Yeah. Oh, man. This is really good. <laughs> Finally today, uh, Rory bringing me the actuator. So I'm going to install it today and motorize the uh, sign. Let's move it up a little bit so we'll okay. see how it does. It's getting uh, all the way up the way we should, but it's not getting it all the way down. So by opening up that mountain and maybe changing some of our pivot points, hopefully that'll remedy the, the problem. I mean, I you need to tack the bottom first. All right. Okay. Cool. It's dancing, that's why. It's dancing? Oh, man. It better work. Oh, oh, let's there. try it, try it. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. 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 Can I get a hand clap? Yeah. 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 Now go up. That's it. Cool. These are the awning doors. Right now, Moscow's looking for some foam core to put in the center because we noticed right now when we laid on the plastic sheet that it sags a little. So that would probably be the easiest solution is to find some foam core to kind of keep it from sagging. So I just went down, checked out the sign for the first time with Moscow. Uh, I was a little disappointed. It's a lot smaller than what I wanted it to be. I wanted it to have that three-dimensional look, you know, where it looked like a sign that's on the side of a building almost, opposed to just this flat piece of metal. Well, I'm thinking we do it double-sided so we can light it in the middle so you can see it from both sides and it lights up. Okay. It looks a little more, more official, you know what I mean? You know, like the signs on the side of the buildings, they got the trim around it. It's got plexiglass in the center. Something like that. It's not symmetrical, so we'll have to cut two, put them back to back. Okay. That okay? That's cool. Okay. You know, we created this cart for this guy. I want him to go out there and look like he knows what he's doing. Cool. Right. So as long as it's bigger than this, I'm happy. Yeah. All no right. Cool. So my meeting with Tracy really went well. I pitched her the seven steps idea, which is basically my way of customizing your car in a Best Buy. She loved it. She thought it was the greatest thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a West Coast Customs boot camp where we bring some of their guys in here, we teach them each one of the steps, make them do it on a car. So I feel that they're, com you know, that they're comfortable enough to do it in the stores and they can teach some of the other guys. Here's, a, here's one of the most important areas that we're working on. It's gonna be our- First off, you know, we showed up, met Ryan, uh, gave us a little overview, uh, showed us around the shop. And Ryan uh, greeted us at the door. I was, I was like starstruck for a minute, you know? It's like, wow, I'm seeing like a movie star, you know? For me, it was a new experience. I've never really taught a class before and went through each one of the, my seven steps, took them to each department. They got to learn each step on a different vehicle, which was cool. I'm an auto guy, so it's like kind of like being in a little candy store, you know, just so much around you, you just want to go grab and touch everything. All right, here's the seven steps. So you get to install West Coast Customs products in the bays. The first step is audio. I know you guys are familiar with audio. Second step is interior upgrades. The third step is exterior, where you can put grills and do all the fun stuff on the exterior. Uh, fourth step is wheels and tires. Fifth step is your detail products, that you'll be able to clean these cars with some good stuff or these guys can take the product home with them. Um, the sixth step is graphics. And then the seventh step is security and safety, which is from an alarm system to a tracking system. Now, let's go out into the shop, because school's in session. Hey guys, hey. welcome to West Coast Customs. They took him to Ishmael to do the first step, which was the interior step. He taught them how to do the West Coast Customs road wire kit, where he showed them how to put it on, how simple it was. It looked hard, but it's really simple. Especially American cars, Japanese cars, piece of cake. 
we went inside and looked at upholstery. Ish helped us out, uh, taught us how to okay. properly uh, put the interior in, told us how to beat the seat, Which showed who's boss. Do. One step I will remember. <laughs> from there, the guys went over to, into the body shop and George showed them all the detailing products from you know the basic cleanup, the tire dressing, the waxes, and all that stuff. One tip that I like to do or give out is, yeah, you definitely want to start from top to bottom. When you're washing your car, you never want to really kind of do one of these because then you end up picking dirt up from the side. So after detailing, they went over to the graphics department. Jeff showed them how to apply the stickers on the side of the car, trim it to fit, you know, do all the little specialty things that were needed. I've always seen graphics on cars, and I've always wondered, you know, the basics on how to put them on, and it was cool showing uh, the actual steps on how to lay it out um, and actually how to mount it, squeegee it, and, you know, blade it up and make it look pretty good. From there, they went off into Darren's department, where Darren taught them how to do the West Coast Customs Audio base kit. Right now, you have to buy everything in a separate piece, like you buy the sub or the amp, um, buy the wiring kit. It doesn't all come with it, but with his kit, it comes with everything. So you don't have to worry about the little extra pieces that you might have forgotten. We also did the security for tracking your car. The next one was wheels and tires, mounting it, unmounting it, balancing it. Mazda made it seem just flawless, really. We should be able to catch on real quick. We also learned how to put in a grill, a uh, new strut grill that they'll be carrying. And the fact that we're going to start doing stuff like that at Best Buy is, is pretty amazing. You know, this is probably something that a lot of auto tech guys have been begging for for the last couple of years. And now finally we got a sponsorship with uh, West Coast Customs to, to take it to that new level. At the end of it, it was like the West Coast Customs boot camp actually came to life. They learned a lot. Hopefully they can go back to the stores now and teach some of the other guys and we can get this process going. I got you guys a couple little gifts to take back with you. I know it was a tough day, but once this stuff gets in the stores, we're going to be ready to rock and roll. Coming up on Inside West Coast Customs. Hopefully I can do my job. It's right now. I wish to you a long way to go. Oh my what? So Moscow just finished up working on the axles. We got the wheels to fit right. Now I'm going to go over to Jose, talk to Jose about building us some custom fenders for this. Since it is a hot dog cart, you know, the fenders are real basic on it. I want them to make some cool looking motorcycle ones that flow. So Jose's the master at that. Hopefully he can pull this off for me. We're gonna bend this up and start welding together. So the deal's gonna start off where we're gonna do the West Coast Custom Seven Steps to Customizing Your Car. Hey man, how we doing? How's it going? Good. Welcome aboard. We're also gonna do the bays to look like our shop where these guys can go in there, buy you know the parts, whatever the step is, take it home, do it themselves, or they can actually have the Best Buy store install it for them, which will be cool because, again, this is something they've never done before. This is a big step for them. Ryan taking over their bay. Gosh, I can't wait to see it when it's finished. Knowing Ryan's shop, it's gonna look it's gonna look pretty sweet when it's done. I'm sure the guys that are working it are gonna be a lot happier with it too. So as well as me training the people, Tracy's asked me to oversee the first store being outfitted with the West Coast Customs kiosk. So I'm going to go there personally, I'm going to watch the kiosk go in, see how the product's set up, and then hand it off to them to say, let's do the seven steps. Cool. Here's our product. Very good. So I think we should grab, we should put like the shirts here and then we'll do some of the auto, the, the cleaning product there and we'll put the battery down there. You know, just kind of merchandise it so they can kind of get the feel for the seven steps right here and then around the corner will be a lot of the bigger, bulkier stuff. Bigger product, okay. Yeah. When I walked down that aisle and seen the kiosk set up for the first time, that's a really, really good feeling. I mean, it shows all my hard work 
and all my struggles that I had to go through to really sell this in as, this is gonna be a great thing, let's just do it, let's try it, let's try it. And I got them to try it, and now it's gonna become probably the biggest thing that they've done in a long time. These last few days have been really exciting for the store, for the team, and I think it's gonna be a great uh, concept for our company to, to continue to expand on. The attention that the customers are giving it so far in, the, in just the first couple of days have been uh, just overwhelming. This is absolutely going to attract a lot of folks back here. And it's merchandise really good. I think it gets the point across. You know, we have the merchandise there. We have the video. We have every, you know, it just works. Really did great. Hey, let's go check out and see how they're doing in the bay. Let's do it. Yeah, it does look great. It's really making a big transformation in here, huh? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Completely different. So I think we'll just leave the guys here tonight, let them finish up. Tomorrow morning, we'll come in check on everything, and then hopefully see what we can figure out. Absolutely. All right, Mike, good night. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. have a great night. I'll see you right. tomorrow morning. Get Thanks. some good sleep. Yeah, I'm going to need it. OK. <laughs>
as blingy as possible for me. That would be awesome. Uh, I can't wait to see it. I'm really excited. We are on the machine. Set it with a center. And the, what size wheel? 20. 20. So that's it. Now you can spin it. That grill looks good. Yay, yay. Yeah. Yeah, that's badass. Come on, Nader's on his way. Nader's about to be off. On this, is this side all done? Uh, oh my. What? <laughs> That's my truck? That's your truck. That's my truck. That's my truck. That's what I'm talking about. What's up, kid? <laughs> I think Nader was surprised, you know? I don't think he knew what to really expect, if it was a joke, if we are just going to give him his truck back normal. But I think he was really, really blown away. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. That was Thank the you. fastest three-hour customized Thank job you we've so, ever done. Thank you so, so much. This is ridiculous. This is amazing. Thank you, guys. I, I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you so much for all your hard work. I appreciate it. When I first walked in, I didn't even recognize my truck because of the grill. And then immediately I saw the wrap on the bottom. That's what I noticed. And uh, I just, I was, I was just blown away. Also having the West Coast Customs name on it, can't beat that. Can't beat that at all. A little crown in the back, it's perfect be able to launch for the first time in Best Buy, and then to actually see the guys we trained working with my guys on a car for the first time in the Bay is unheard of. I mean, this is, this is definitely a day to go down in the history book of West Coast Customs. Hopefully when these guys uh, stop sitting on it, I can finish up those other sides right now. I mean, it looks like a treehouse or something like that. Hopefully, I can do my job. Coming up on Inside West Coast Customs. That's what it looks like? Yeah. That's kind of ugly. Ryan came down, he kind of grilled everybody on the way the hot dog cars being built. Pretty close. Yeah, it's pretty close. So we split the difference. So what do you think about taking these up and trying to wrap them? You can line next them. No, actually, it'd be a good idea. Like a like a small texture black. You think you do a 360 wrap by? midday so we get these out on, yeah, on the truck. Day. Why don't we get these things out of here and, and tell them I need them AS ASAP. The good news about line Xing the fenders is it's only going to take a couple hours to do, opposed to painting them is going to take a couple days. So this is actually a really good idea that Rory came up with. Yeah. No, it's going that way. You want like a special little stool, like just a little diamond plate on it or something? Be nice. Okay. The problem with this is just uh, there was no way to build a out for it, so we build this rod. I mean, it's not a problem to get it up. The problem is bring it down. When we get it all down, you just gotta go and pass with a scotch pry to take all the, you know, this brightness of it and make it get dull, so it's gonna come out a really nice pattern. Nothing working. Put it against that. Moscow, can I ask a question while you're doing this right now? Yeah. Is this folded up when he's driving? It's folded up like this? Yeah. So what's on the bottom of it? What do you mean what's on the bottom? Of That's it? what it looks like? Yeah. yeah. Ryan came down to the floor, check it out, hugged that car, and like, it's just slow. He ain't never happy with it. That's kind of ugly. We still got more wrap. And we can just wrap you... this inside. I think we should. We can put can another piece. You put like piece. panel inside and then we can just wrap that piece? Wrap it with yeah, that. Yeah, let's do that. 
Maybe we should just do his logo really big on the bottom of it. And that so when it's held up and then his big logo's right there, yeah. Okay. This guy's got to put put up the poles every time. He's going to have to put them, is he going to be able to, can you do it by yourself? You need three. <laughs> one in the middle. So you need three in a ladder? <laughs> three in a ladder and a forklift to set it up? <laughs> can you make him a tool that he can, that he yeah. can hold the thing up and put the bar in or something? Yeah. That, we can do that. that way you can have. I just oh, want to give that. him. I want to make his job easy. I don't want to make his yeah, job harder. We can do that. Ryan came down. He kind of grilled everybody on the way the hot dog cars being built. I guess there's some things he didn't agree with, but the, the thing's almost done. So I mean, it's just we're gonna make a few modifications and try to make it more useful for the, the guy receiving the hot dog cart. The deadline right now is a couple hours. You know, we got a couple hours. We got six dudes working on a hot dog cart this big. I mean. They're doing the best they can. I mean, there was a lot of little issues for such a little build. But again, I mean, it's when it's our custom world that we live in. I mean, nothing ever works out perfect. Can you just hurry up so we can eat hot dogs? Oh, we need to eat hot dogs. Right now, what we're doing is we uh, put the panel on, on the counter so they can wrap it. So far, the, everything's pretty much installed. The, the last thing I gotta do is wire up the tail lights. So that's what I'm doing right now, is hooking everything up to the trailer plug. Uh, the Xbox is working, the TVs are working, the radio works, all that was tested last night. So I'm gonna retest everything one last time and make sure everything's good. Now put on the brake. The left turn signal. Right turn signal. Okay. Let's go. Hey, what's up? Oh. Nice. Got some bicycle fenders for you. Nice. Let me see if it looks good. Yeah, that looks really nice. Sweet. It's close, but we're clear. It's pretty close. Yeah, it's pretty close. Well, when we put the car down, we find out that the axle is the lane to the left side. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take the axle off and drill again a couple holes and move it to the left. All right, let's, let's take the axle off. All right, ready? Yeah. All right. So Rory has a friend around the corner where he goes and has lunch a lot. His name is Justin. He owns a shop called The Hot Dog Shop. He's going to come down here and really give this hot dog cart a good test. Push it in, light it, hold the lit for a minute. Don't let go of the lit, because you might light it, and the minute you let go, it'll stop. Oh, uh, OK. The pilot's got to get hot. That's ready to go. Put dogs on that now. Since this thing's going all the way to the East Coast, this is a Sidro's business. I mean, it's got to be in working order. It's got to be 100%. So he's going to try it out, feed the guys, and hopefully we can get this thing shipped off. Check one, check one. All West Coast employees, meet Ryan and Dane up front. We're going to test your skills on hot dog eating competition. Come on, Kenny. I want to see how many hot dogs you can eat. Because I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat some hot dogs. Coming up on Inside West Coast Customs. This thing's cooking. Damn. We're going to do four dogs the quickest time. <laughs> You're going to tap out? This is going to be a big surprise. Wow. <laughs> This thing's cooking. Yeah. Damn. Before this hot dog car goes, first we've got to try try it out. I mean, it's like, let's make sure this thing works before you send it, send it all the way out to Discovery and find out there's a problem. So I rounded up all the guys. I said, hey, let's go out. Let's eat some hot dogs. But let's have a little competition, too. You know, I grabbed the skinniest guy, Hunter. I grabbed the biggest guy, Big Dane. And then I grabbed some mediums in between. All right, we're going to do four dogs the quickest time. David, wash your hands. No. And you're gonna eat as fast as you can. They have to be all down. You can't dip them in anything. Just eat until you go. No dipping. No dipping or anything. On your mark, get set, go. Don't make me laugh. I'm talking to the skinniest guys always win. Are the size of this mouth compared to mine? Uh oh. Did you almost puke right now? 
Did you? How did you? What? You can't tap out? You're going to tap out? Greaser out of all the people won. You know what? He likes to eat, I guess. Good job, man. Good game. He won at Fair and Square. He's going to have lunch for a week from uh, the hot dog spot. And I think this hot dog card's ready to go. Bye. So I'm back at Discovery. It's still snowing. It's still freezing cold. Um, this was a tough project. I mean, it was something different for the guys to work on, but it was a fun project because we know that is gonna be super excited when he sees it. It's gonna be a big surprise. Right now I have it waiting around the corner. I'm gonna go meet with the Davids and figure out a plan on how we're gonna get it in here and surprise them. Hey. Hey, guys. All right. So I, this is gonna be a big surprise. It's been a long wait. It's been a long we're excited. Good to see you. How'd it turn out? <laughs> good. I think we're gonna get the tears you asked me to give them. Do we have the ultimate? Hot dog cart. Beyond all <laughs> Beyond. Looking at his situation he has now right. to what he's about to have, I think he's going to be really, really surprised. How many wow. hot dogs did you eat during your research? A lot. I'm so over <laughs> hot I've dogs I've had a few right myself. <laughs> I'm over hot dogs right now. All right, I think we're ready. Let's just right. hope that he's really surprised. He's going to be. He's going to be. Let's, Let's do this. Let's do this. All right. Isidro. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how are you? Yeah, great great to see you. you. Great, great to see you. you. What you did that day for all of us. Uh, we're never going to forget it. Mm -hmm. And you really saved a lot of lives by making sure that no one went into that building. Yeah. And you put yourself at risk. It meant a lot to them, and you know they called upon me to do something special for you. And it's, it, was a, it was a challenge that I got that I think I did a really good job with. And you know we brought a gift for you well, to really surprise you and, and give you like a real big thank you from all of us. So for all you've done for us, this is a little something that we're gonna do for you. <laughs> thank you. This thank is you. the super hot dog thank car. Thank you, thank you, thank you. When Isidro turned around, I mean, he was blown away. He got to see something that I don't think he knew what we were doing, but when he seen it, he's really, really happy. When I turned around, I saw the car and wow. But I am feeling very, very happy. Yeah, it's, it's very nice, it's very nice. We made some custom fenders for you. We did some wheels on it. And of course, when it opens up right now, I mean, you got a lot of extra things that I don't think you have on this cart. All right, Ryan, give him the full tour. So here's, here's where we're going to start. So we did awnings around it. So if you are out in the weather and you know, you could actually stand under here, it'll protect you from the weather. But of course, we added speakers. We did TVs. We did a little fridge on here so you could have a fridge, but you also have your ice deal in there. It's got hot coffee now. And I mean, at the end of it, I just wanted to make sure you had a cart that you could fold up, take home with you. But when you go to any event, whether you're here or anywhere else, yeah. you have an ultimate hot dog cart. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> you got to stand back here to get the good deal. What we did was. Wow. <laughs> for you. Thank you. And we made you a logo. Yeah. Which yeah. I, you know, That's fine. The logo's I, good. So this is it. What do you think? This is your ultimate hot dog cart. Ryan did a great job. I mean, really fantastic. Isidro was completely surprised, and we got a chance to thank him. It's a big deal, and it turned out amazing. Really uh, couldn't ask for better. It was a tough build for us at the shop because it's not what we usually do, but we added our expertise to it, and this is what we built you. Never I saw a sun card like that one, but it's, it's, it's awesome. great. It's great. You're it's definitely awesome. going to be seen when you yeah. come. So I did a good yeah, job. Yeah. I, I now passed we the test. You passed the <laughs> test. Right. You built the ultimate hot dog. Now we got to eat some hot dogs. Yeah, okay. Now, now it's up to you. All right. Come with me for this hot dog. Good job. Congratulations. Awesome. 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 Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Just a little round of applause for Isidro for all he does for us. Woo! Thank you, buddy. No, Superhero you. right here. Thank Great. you. Next time on Inside West Coast Customs, four tour buses in a row. It's the Rascal Flats. We're thinking to build us something. A Rascal Flats oh, ride, man. Definitely got to do T-tops, right? We gotta put a whole bunch of strength back in the middle. Until you approve, gotta keep going at it. The car that Ryan is building here would be a whole lot faster. Oh man. Oh, have to look it from the bright side. I don't know, I'm not a cowboy. Look like Bar Simpson with a <laughs> cowboy hat. <laughs> <laughs> you laughing at me. <laughs>